Hello guys, welcome to a new episode. Um, so what I did in this, uh, like between these two episodes, was I did some minor uh, rearranging over here. I'm basically trying to eliminate cases where uh, where the the lines have to cross over each other. It's just a small silly thing I'm trying to work out. So here I fixed all these here earlier. They were not this. Uh, Uniform, so now every line does not intersect any other line. Uh, in the future, or in a perfect world, I would also like to have no line propagating backwards. Every line propagates forward uh, and up or down. So, uh, and I also changed a few things. So, for example, I configured this. I reconfigured this. Uh, a couple things were uh, changed around. I deleted something here. Um, mostly everything was the same. I also fixed up these and completed the entire list and added a small piece of information, the sum over here. So for example, let's go ahead and run this and let's say, let's see here, so these are the cards that we had selected right here and this is the winnings right here. So these are the winnings. So um, by looking at this here, here's all the data that I can gather from looking at this. First of all, best thing you can do is a straight, obviously. Uh, what you have, uh, actually, let's do one thing here. Let's make sure we're, where are we? We're three, we're on the river. Okay, so we're, we're, we're processing this data as if we were on the river. So on the river, um, actually, here's an even better idea. Let us create a control for this there we go and then let's do 0 is hand 1 is uh, flip 2 is turn and 3 is uh, 3 hand flip turn river <laughs> forgot that for a second there so let's go to the flip, let's go to the river let's stay on the river and run this again just for there we go okay so <clears throat> the data that we can get is the following first of all we have a 5 a 5 is a 3 of a kind our 3 of a kind is of place 4 so here's 4 right this row is 4 here and straight is right here um, as you can see something is wrong so that is the first bad thing here uh, I believe in theory this should process our position as well and this so we have a error somewhere we need to fix so that's the first thing let me write her here just so we know so the other thing oh hold on hold on we have a three of a kind there is no error I'm sorry uh, we have a 5, which is a 3 of a kind 4. 3 of a kind 4 is right here. There we are. This is us. We are on the lowest end of the 3 of a kind scale. So what this means is that any of these possibilities here, all of those here, exist that are higher than our possibility. This is why I wanted to add this specific scale. So basically, having 13%, now I can even narrow it down even more and tell you that out of those 13, we are the first one. We have the lowest three of a kind possible in this uh, scenario. Furthermore, uh, we see what everybody else has. Obviously, we're in a really high standing here. Very, very high. But let's see what the table has. The table has an oh, sorry. The table has an eight, which is a high card of 13. An eight high card of 13. There they are. There's 305 of the total numbers being considered. So there's 992 possibilities uh, on the table right now, plus two random, plus our hand, plus our. So basically, there's 990 possibilities, plus your hand, plus the table alone, plus no hand, basically. Um, we have to subtract from that number 305, because 305 are just what's on the table. In this case, a high card king is on the table and that means that 305 which is 33 percent right about 33 this is almost a thousand this is three so about 30 percent right so 30 percent so 30 percent right is simply 
a high card is a table a table which means nothing not even in hand the 30 percent of the chance it is trash what you have is trash now the then you see here there's 112 112 mean that there's another 10 percent right there's another 10 percent that have a high in hand a high card in their hand now by looking further onto this we see that for example one pair is 464 so about 46 percent of the people have one pair just one now for specific reasons I cannot really tell whether this one pair is on the table it's definitely not on the table so it is in their hand and uh, that one pair could either be in hand or on the table or with one card on the table so let me explain what that means that means on the table we have four five seven queen king so here four five seven queen and king as you can see here have higher probabilities because these mean that those people have those cards uh, in their uh, one card in their hand and one card on the table moving up to the two pair we have an about six percent and this is all estimating there's about six percent that have a two pair and again same thing as you can see all the two pairs have to be basically four five seven and the queen and the king because to have a two pair you have to use the table now uh, I'm not gonna get into a lot of details this is two pair and then we look at our three of a kind and above we see that 30 maybe let's see 30 45 percent no four wait three four there's about five percent five percent oh five percent higher than us so there's only about five percent of the possibilities that could possibly be better than what we have the table obviously has a super low nothing so the probability that somebody has something better than us is this high now if we eliminate the 30 percent of the table we pretty much uh, change the way these odds work if we want to use that maybe we do not I'm not sure so there we go this is why I included all this and uh, in this specific hand I would say right if we are playing and there's only five percent five percent of the people can be better than us then that five percent is unbelievably tiny now if I eliminate the people that have absolutely nothing these could include the people bluffing that 30 percent right so uh, let me pull up a calculator here so let's see what we have here's what we have what well, initially we have is 992 and we're doing 32 plus 13 minus 1 so basically 32 and 12 which is 44 so we have uh, 44 out of 912 so 44 out of 900 and I'm sorry 992 is going to simply be about 4.4 percent now if I take that 992 and subtract from it the 305 which are the table nothings that number goes up to 6.4 it uh, is still a really really tiny tiny percent of people that can have better than us now for example if we, we were to look at the people that have oh let's say a one pair these people have 464 that means if we exclude the 30 percent they have the 67 percent of them are there if we don't include this then this number goes down to 46 so this is a difference of about 20 percent so a difference of 20 percent in whether you see this or not uh, these are the kinds of information that I would like to get out of this program so this is the first insight if you will at to 
why I'm doing this, what this is supposed to do. So right now, this will tell me exactly where I'm standing, where everybody else is standing. But again, this is only in the river. If we go to the turn, let's run this at the turn and see how, how this changes. First of all, there's a little more possibilities. The end possibilities are almost the same. At this point, we have a 5-4. Again, uh, we are still at the lowest end. The way we are looking at this does not really change. The high card is still on the table and still 305 people have it. But now there's more and more people that can have a lower and lower value. So that's at the turn. Now, if I go down to the flip, let's process the flip. At the flip, a little more again. Uh, as we can see now, the number, the high card, 449%. Uh, almost 45% of the people have absolutely nothing at the flop. Right, so this flop is pretty, half the people get out. Three of a kind in this scenario, look at that, one, and then there's six. There's only six people, six out of 1,083 that, have, that can have something better than me. Now, this is including, for example, a high card. If we exclude the high card, for example, then these numbers change. We are at the lowest of the three of a kind. The possibility to get the three of a kind in this case is basically seven out of 1,083. And if you got that, then the probability further is one. Now, if we go to the hand, at the hand, basically, uh, nobody has anything. As you can see here, the table has nothing. The table is zero, obviously. Uh, we have only one pair, and we are 74 people, right? Our pair is on number four again here. This is where we lie in the sea of possibilities. These are this. This is the sea of possibilities. So uh, somebody else could have a pair. Obviously, we are not. There's only two people. There's only two chances of having a pair of fours. And the reason is, I have two pairs of fours. Right? And there's a four right there. So only I can have, uh, if somebody else has the last four, that last four and this four can do a pair. So that's one of them. And I, at this point, uh, I'm sorry, before seeing this table, I have a pair, and then, sorry, someone else can have the other two fours and have a pair. That, that's, that's how simple it is. So tracking my progress, I went from one pair at the hand to the flip, where now I have uh, upgraded all the way up to a three of a kind. And then when I, when I get to the turn, then now I'm still here, but then people have better, better options. So my, my luck, if you will, at the hand was very good. At the flip, it was even better. At the turn, my chances decreased. And now, when the river opens, when the river opens, my chances decrease a little more. I think just barely. Let's see. Yeah, from 10 to 13, they barely decrease, but they do nonetheless decrease. When you put that, plot that, and plot everything else going on, hopefully we can have some kind of graph. This will, in theory, increase uh, possibilities. All right, I'm going to end this episode here. And next episode, I'm going to try to figure out a way to get uh, all this cleaned up and organized. Hopefully, we can have a kind of clean, nice looking uh, chart view of the uh, possibilities. Now, uh, one last thing I'd like to say just before I end this is that this does not include the artificial analysis that we had discussed earlier. So we're not sure, I'm not sure what we're going to do with this or if even we need it. Because at this point, when we process the hand, we're only using two cards. When we're processing the flop, we're only using three cards. The turn, we're only using four. And the river, we're only using five. Uh, that's for the player plus two, right? So there's always a plus two. So we're going to have two here, five, 
6, oh, 2, 5, 6, and 7. These are the cards used for this. So for example, only at the flop you can start getting real data, but we need to add another 2. And here it, we need to add another 1. So we'll, 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 we'll investigate this later on, step by step. See you guys next time.